Hey, this is John from Homestead Evolution. And Anita. We're back from the Homesteaders of America Conference 2018. We were there as vendors, AJ Farms, LLC. We had a chance to go around and let some other vendors tell you about who they are and what they do. We're going to show you that video and hope you enjoy. I'm Tommy. And I'm Patty. And we are Alderman Farms. We live in Brookhaven, Mississippi, where we raise dairy goats, a handful of chickens, now, and a few turkeys. A few turkeys. Uh, three American guinea hogs. Nine goats. Dairy goats. Nine goats. And soon to be the proud mother and father of hopefully 40 whale that we got from AJ Farms. And we're very excited about it. Yes. We've been talking about quail for a long time, and uh, we just haven't pulled the trigger. And but it, the trigger is pulled. The trigger is pulled <laughs> because some very persuasive people <laughs> told my wife, you need quail. And so she agreed, and I agreed, and uh, we're excited about it. I'm very excited. Bringing another protein source uh, takes up a small amount of space. It seems like a very efficient yes. source. Uh, of protein, and so we're taking the death to bring some eggs back in the cabin and get them in the incubator, and 17 days later, 17 days. have some itty bitty little birds. It's gonna grow like that. Yeah. Yeah. So we're excited. Of course, this is our second year at the Homesteaders of America conference. Once again, uh, Amy and the crew have outdone themselves. Yes, it's been wonderful. Uh, weather has. For the most part, cooperate. Although we're freezing slap. Yes, we're very cold. Because Mississippi folk ain't used to this. <laughs> but uh, the amount, uh, what, the question and answer session is always my favorite, where uh, the speakers who have already imparted their knowledge throughout the day get all up on the panel at one time. And it was incredible to see the amount of knowledge and experience per square foot on that stage earlier and listening to them just sort of extemporaneously answer questions. Yeah, um, that was really neat. I hope they make it two hours next year. Yeah, they're talking about it. Anyway, we're anxious to get home and start incubating quail eggs. We sure are. And check on our hot dog. Yes. Can you tell us your name and oh, where you're from? Yeah, I'm um, Kelly Bates. And um, I uh, am from Kentucky and uh, came up here because my husband has a YouTube channel called Micro Farm Starter. And so I thought, well, I'll do fa uh, balloons and face painting. Wait, wait, hold this for me. Can you hold that? Oh, oh. What happened? <laughs> and so I thought it'd be a great way to make a little money to pay for our trip and he'd get to go around filming things and taking everything in for her. But I love children, and so it's just fun for me. It's a pleasure. Awesome. Uh, we are a micro farm starter. Uh, we are a small 
micro farm. Uh, you know, have tiny houses where you got tiny farms. We try to do the best we can on one acre and uh, just follow us on our journey. And as we try to figure these things out and we do micro greens, we're raising rabbits, uh, hoping to get into chickens, maybe even quail and some other things that we're looking into, possibly goats. And just try to see the most that we can make out of an acre uh, to make it into a farm that, that we can feed our family and uh, you know, uh, do some homesteading. So that's, that's what we're about on uh, Micro Farm Store. Good morning. My name is Amy Eaton from Creekside Farm in Elkton, Virginia. We are a small, self-sustainable homesteading farm. We raise milk goats. We raise our own hogs, our own meat rabbits. We raise meat chickens and layer chickens. Uh, we have greenhouses. And of course, we have the garden. We raise all of our own produce. And with all of these things, we make goat's milk soap, goat's milk fudge. Uh, we can everything, make jams and jellies. Uh, we also weave. We have five looms, three barn looms. Um, we weave rugs, table mats, uh, table runners, handbags, and we do all of this on less than five acres. So it is possible to, to earn a living on your own land. Okay. Hello, I'm Jerry Dern from River Hills Harvest. We grow elderberries. We make all kinds of delicious elderberry products. Elderberry juice, cordial with cinnamon and cloves. It's delicious. Jams, jellies, freeze-dried elderberries. If you need elderberries, come to riverhillsharvest.com. I'm Ryan Hoffman. This is my wife, Brittany and our three kids, Sarah, Jacob, and Caleb. And we're owner-operators of Graceland Cattle Farm, and uh, we raise grass and beef from start to finish. Uh, we're from Rixieville, Virginia. Uh, we uh, rent about 400 acres of land where we uh, raise mother cows and also steers and peppers to finish the beef. Um, we've been selling beef now for about four or five years. David and Linda Chambers from Spotsylvania, or Spotsylvania Virginia. <laughs> um, Grandpa's workshop. Um, I'm Grandpa. This is Grandma. She helps me out when she doesn't know it. Um, what we do is we're training for homeschoolers, homesteaders, and homeowners, and everything in woodworking and home ownership. Okay. Scan all your stuff here. All right. I know we have the person who runs the conference. Ready? Yeah. So my name is Andy Lane. This is Doug Wharton. We're part of Pangean Farm, which is a farm in North East Ohio. Uh, we, Doug and I, travel to farms and do butchering workshops, meat curing, uh, humane killing of animals on your homestead and farm. We also do workshops at our own farm, salami making and all the same sorts of things. Uh, we also at our farm raise pasture poultry, laying hens, pigs, rabbits, and today we're here just talking to people about what we do, uh, trying to get them excited about it. Uh, we also are selling knives from our friend. His name is Nate Malenke. Uh, he makes really high quality uh, kitchen knives. Uh, he does custom work, butchery knives, hunting knives, paring knives, uh, beautiful handcrafted stuff.
Hi, I'm Jeremy Chambers, Independence Acres and Olmstead, Homestead at Casco, Michigan. Uh, we're here at the Homesteaders of America conference, uh, representing the world of meat rabbits. Uh, we transported our bunnies down here in order to provide some quality breeding stock, but also to be able to educate others on the hows, whys, ins and outs of what it is to raise rabbits on your homestead, uh, and also how to process and use all the products from raising meat rabbits. We're really excited to be here and glad we were able to share. So it's not considered a really egg apron. 
Uh, you can get a hold of me on Facebook under Tamara Hoskins and I uh, tell me what kind of colors skin you want. And you tell me what you want if you want an afghan, uh, uh, purse, a bag, uh, baby booties, anything like that. And um, stay stay <laughs>